Hi everybody, this is God's Girl G. Thank you so much for joining me today. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome! And for those of you returning to this channel to watch this video and you are not already subscribed, I'm going to encourage you to do so by clicking the subscribe icon below. And if during the course of this video you hear something that you like, click the thumbs up, comment below, or better yet, share this video with someone that you feel could benefit from its information. With that stated, let's get into today's discussion. Today's video is about the word and the actions of courage. The common definition of the word courage is a noun that describes the ability to do something that frightens you. Simply stated, it's being motivated from the heart to do something brave. Biblical courage is also defined as doing something brave out of motivation of the heart. However, the Bible talks about what motivates the heart to do something courageous. Good courage always relies upon the power of God to strengthen and motivate us to be courageous children of God. Some examples of courage in the Bible is the story of Joshua and Caleb. Their story teaches us to be courageous when things look impossible. There's also the story of David and Goliath. That story teaches us to have courage by trusting in the experience and the skills that God has given to us. There's the story of Peter and John. Their story teaches us to be courageous when we are persecuted for doing what God has told us to do. And then there's the story of Daniel. In Daniel chapter six, a group of politically motivated administrators laid a trap for Daniel by manipulating the king to sign into law a regulation that would put to death anyone who worshiped any other God other than him. Now Daniel stood on his conviction to pray to the one and only God in spite of the consequences, which would mean he would be thrown in the lion's den. He was motivated to face that fear because he was grateful to God for all the ways God had blessed him and protected his life. That gratitude made him extraordinarily confident. And we know how the story ends. Daniel survived being thrown in the lion's den. His devotion to God caused the king, a foreign king, to write to all nations to fear and revere God. Now there are some biblical principles on courage that the Bible lays out that I'd like now to discuss. The first principle, it teaches us that we become courageous from doing right. When we have done right, then we don't have to have a nagging guilty conscience in the back of our head saying that we deserve to fail or deserve some type of punishment. Next, the Bible teaches us that courageous strength comes from waiting on God. To wait on the Lord does not mean to sit and do nothing, but instead we are to put our faith in God because He can handle the matter. To wait on God means to find out what His plan is for the situation. Third, the Bible teaches us that courage comes from hope in the Lord. It teaches us that courage comes from not only just facing the problem, but for hoping and looking to the one who can solve the problem. Fourth, the Bible teaches us that courage comes from having people around us who encourages us. The word encourage means to fill someone with courage, to open them up and pour courage into their heart. Causes us to ask ourselves, who do you have around you that's encouraging you? Cynical and pessimistic people can flat out drain you, but confident and faith-filled people will encourage you. Five, the biblical principle teaches us that fearlessness and bravery comes from God. We are to take courage in the fact that God will never leave us nor forsake us. For me, courage means knowing that God is with me. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's the ability to act despite the fear that you feel. With God, we can face our fears. You're not alone. You have someone who is a lot bigger than you who can take care of the problem. 
Romans 8 and 31 says, What shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? God is surely with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Bye.